Channel 3 is your election authority. November's election now a little more than two weeks away. And all of Connecticut's five congressional seats are up for grabs. We are taking you to all the districts to meet the candidates and find out what they want you to know. Chief Capitol reporter Susan Raff starts us off tonight with the first congressional district. When you talk about Connecticut's first congressional district, it's hard not to think about John Larson. The East Hartford Democrat has been re-elected 10 times, serving the district since 1999. I've demonstrated the capability to work across the aisle to get things done. Larson introduced the Small Business Jobs Act of 2010, which helps businesses access capital. He also gained media attention for scolding members of Congress for shutting down the government in the fall of 2013. He's been pushing to improve health care. The Affordable Care Act was not perfect, but it's the step in the right direction. He's now working on COVID legislation. People are hurting. People need this money. The first district covers much of the north central part of the state. The district is anchored by the state capital of Hartford. It encompasses much of central Connecticut. Larson's Republican challenger is Mary Fay. I'm really concerned about the business environment in Connecticut. Uh, COVID certainly has had an impact, but before that, even before that, we were laggard. We never recovered from the 2008 recession. Faye is a businesswoman who has served two terms on West Hartford's town council. It turns out she and John Larson go way back. Larson was her basketball coach in East Hartford when she was in high school. While she has nothing bad to say about Larson as a person, she feels his politics are wrong for the state. He keeps mentioning Social Security as an issue. Well, he's in the seat to change it if he wants. Faye says if elected, she would work on creating good paying jobs and propose a solid immigration bill. She's also a bit unique. She used to be a Democrat and is the first LGBTQ candidate to run for federal office. I think there are a lot of ideas out there by very competent, intelligent people that are not being heard. There's a third candidate, Tom McCormick from the Green Party. He used to sell homes and is now retired. The economy is his biggest issue and says it hasn't worked for the average middle class person, that wages have been stagnant for decades. He's also against taxpayer money being used to bail out foreign banks. How would you like to reconfigure the economy? Well, I think we start at the Federal Reserve, making it more democratic. Um, presently, the governors of the reserve banks um, are elected ba basically in secret. As for campaigning, it is a lot different because of COVID. Unlike in person, the candidates have turned to virtual events. There is a debate planned for the first district, and that is going to be virtual as well. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.